Save this one for last. It's arson according to the fire inspector. The warehouse belonging to Vincent Jones was torched. Turpentine was the accelerant. The guy working for uh, Vincent Jones died on fire. Hmm. Any progress? I like Vincent Jones for it. So far, I haven't been able to put him there. Vincent Jones. Now, isn't he the guy that was uh, your brother's fight manager, wasn't he? And then he set him up? Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, claiming that I'm dragging my feet on the case because of Christian. Are you? No. No, I want to find out who's responsible so that I can clear my brother's name. Right. Yes. Commissioner. Um, what can I do for you, Italian? Vincent Jones is here. Um, speak of the devil. He's lawyered up. Oh, please, show him in. Mr. Jones, Mr. Connolly, please. Hey, Commissioner. This is my lawyer, Aaron Connolly. I'm Bob Buchanan. I know who you are, Commissioner. This is Detective Vega. What can I do for you, gentlemen? Well, I wasn't getting any answers on what happened to my warehouse, so I put the word out on my own pipeline. What kind of information did you get from this uh, little pipeline of yours? Information that makes your brother's alibi look a little shaky. Excuse me. Christian, what are you doing? I came to make a statement. Don't you mean confession? What's this about a statement? Christian? Hello, Aaron. Evangeline. I assume you're here with the same information we have. Well, we know Mr. Vega here has 20 minutes he can't account for on the night of the fire. Which is what I came here to tell you. I forgot I ran out for art supplies. Uh huh. Forgot? I was working on a painting in Angel Square. A store window. I was on the deadline and I ran out of some colors, so I went to the store. For 20 minutes. During the precise time frame when police and fire investigators say the warehouse fire stopped. If Christian had anything to do with the fire, do you honestly think I would bring him in here to talk to you? I don't know, Counselor. I hear you're a prosecutor now. And the two of you seem to be intimately involved. Maybe you've gone soft. Christian, is there anybody at that art store that can vouch for you? Yes, Commissioner. Excuse me. We checked. 20 minutes. For two tubes of paint. You still have time to set that fire. I knew it. I knew it. I knew Mr. it. Mr. Jones, one more comment out of you like that, and you and your attorney will be standing out in the hall. Talia, would you please call this uh, art store, see if they can give you a corroboration? Already done. What? I spoke with the clerk. Mr. Baker bought two tubes of paint and a can of paint thinner, otherwise known as turpentine. Copy of the receipt. Time stamp in the corner. You know what to do? I did the police department a favor. I'd like one in return. Stop making my client the scapegoat in this case. Mm -hmm. Put the blame where it belongs. Making unsubstantiated claims against Christian. Unsubstantiated? That art supply store is right around the corner from the store Mr. Vegas decorated. According to the security tape, his transaction took three and a half minutes. Now you both agree that he's gone for 20 minutes. What'd you do with the other 16 and a half minutes, Mr. No, Baker? no, no, no. Don't say anything, Christian. You know, we came in here to be straightforward and honest, and it appears we've walked into some sort of an ambush. Everybody's got laughs as memory. Ain't that right, Mr. Jones? And you forgot you had insurance on your warehouse where you stand to make a million dollars if you could prove you weren't part of the fire. Now, how does my brother's motive even come close to touching that? You know, you do anything to frame me. My brother's not going to prison again. Not for a crime he didn't commit. That's right. He has a record. I was exonerated. Let's all bring it down a notch. You get to the bottom of this. Or I'll have no choice but to go to the press and claim cover-up. There is no cover-up. Christian's getting special treatment because his brother's a cop. And his girlfriend's an ADA. And if you're looking for a motive, I got a beauty. Your brother was framed by Mr. Jones, so he decided to turn the tables. I mean, this time the stakes weren't a few dollars and a boxing license. He set that fire, and he killed a man because he was framing my client for murder. Jones, you tell your mouthpiece to knock it off with the threads. Commissioner, can I speak to you for a minute? Sure. I have to make a phone call. Let's go out into the squad room. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Jones. 
You forgot something. All right, Chris. I need to know what you do with those 60 minutes after you left the art store. I went for a walk. I'm trying to convince myself I hadn't lost every ounce of talent I ever had as an artist. Because Jones made sure that you messed up your hand? I didn't start that fire, Antonio. He wouldn't. I know he wouldn't. Look, I'm going to find someone who saw you taking that walk. You know, this, this uh, lawyer of Vincent and Vincent, they're out to get me. Huh. He's a hotshot. He's won a lot of cases, so I need you to stay cool and lay low. He's right, Christian. Don't engage Vincent or his lawyer. I'm telling you, that man is not kidding when he said he would go to the press. His favorite place is the front page. All right, and you heard Bo, all right? He's not going to be pressured by Vincent and his attorney to arrest you. I was supposed to meet Jessica a half hour ago. Go ahead, man. I'll be okay. And I'm going to stay on this, all right? I promise. Got a hostage situation at the hospital. The yeah, he cold cocked a guard, got his weapon, and then he took some female employee hostage. I'm going to notify SWAT. I want you to have every available unit sent to the hospital. Right. Now lock it down. Also... I want a car sent to my father's house. Nobody goes in there. Anything else? Yeah. This is Truman's last hurrah. You put the word out. I said if anybody has a clear shot at him, take it. And also, if Detective McBain calls here, starts asking a lot of questions, I tell him nothing. He signed out. I wasn't done talking to him. Well, I guess he was done talking to you. Now, if you excuse me, we've got a situation. Uh, you need to take a vague message for me? As soon as I finish the legwork to put his brother in prison, I'll give him a call. I know you're sure of yourself, but you better be pretty sure of your client if you're going to talk like that. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Eric got my back on this one, right? Because I need somebody on my side. Vincent, you would have more people on your side if you didn't have such a creative relationship with the truth. Oh, uh, Counselor, you're only buying what he's selling is because you're sleeping with the man. Hey, Christian! grease the wheels of justice just by making cracks at Christian and Miss Williamson. Excuse me. Offset. You saw what just happened between Mr. Jones and Mr. Vega? Yeah. Mr. Vega knocked my client down in the middle of a police squad room. Well, that kind of man would do just about anything. Do you understand? Make your case in court. Yes. Commissioner's not coming back anytime soon, so you might as well go. Tell him I'll be in touch. I think he knows that. Your boyfriend better cool off by the time he gets home. I think you better worry about yourself. The commissioner said one more thing. What's that? He said to tell Christian not to go anywhere. This isn't over.